George's genius was he could come into that table of all these different drawings and he go, hmm, this one, that head of this one, and the body of that one. And you'd look at them and go, oh my God, it's, it had to be that way. My name is Ian McKaig. I'm formerly a concept artist with Lucasfilm. Uh, perhaps, once again, concept artist with Lucasfilm. It, who knows which Star Wars films will beckon in the future. But um, I've been there since uh, The Phantom Menace, um, although I did go and work on some of the special editions as well. What we did, I like to think that if different departments were making a, a war movie, say World War II, they would go to the history books, they would look at the, the costumes that the different armies were wearing, you'd look at the machines and the kind of gritty realism and the, even the kind of characters that existed back then and then you draw that from that as inspiration to make your costumes and sets and so on. Um, there is no history book for Star Wars. So the concept design department makes the history books. We work with George and with whoever the director is on the new films to actually create the book that the other departments can come to and draw their inspiration from to make make the reality. We're the people who try to take George's brain and dump it down on paper on a table. And George is an amazing director and a very different director. He doesn't come in and tell you everything and what it is. He was very, very good at um, giving you just enough. It's like a little indication of this here and there. It's a new Sith Lord. His name is Darth Maul. Yeah. You know, and you'd, you'd be left to make it up. And I like to think he cast us because of the kind of stories we make up. So you just pour yourself in there and then out would come all these really different kind of solutions. I'm concerned with always the story, right? Does the drawing serve the story? I don't think of myself as a costume designer ever. I'm designing story points and characters are frozen little moments of story, right? So first and foremost, when I draw, I have to know who's in there, right? Who are they in the story? What are they feeling in the story? And then I have to become that character. I took Darth Maul and after making one up that was too, so scary, George told me for my second worst nightmare, um, uh, I, I thought, okay, wait a minute. Sith Lord, he needs some through line, something that makes him focus his evil. I know, he'll bind his head with piano wire and there'll be black feathers at very specific points. So if you look at the, the final Darth Maul drawing, there's these lines across his forehead. No one has to know they're there, but I do. And I know that's why he has that uh, expression on his face and the feathers were exactly the right place. And then that drawing went off to Nick Dudman, the, the makeup artist, the genius makeup artist, who looked at them and went, mm, those look like horns. They became horns. And then Ray Park got in there and did the rest, brought them to life. And walking around is pieces of my life coming back to me, mostly really wonderful ones, because designing Star Wars was a real treat and still is.